why would I give up the stability of a job that I was making six figures at to pursue this traveling stuff? And I really started to think like, I just want freedom. I started working really, really hard to try to make as much money as I could. And once I got to a point in my job where I realized that I wasn't gonna be able to make that much more. Once you make 100,000, if you make 120 or if you make 140, your lifestyle doesn't change that much. It does change when you go from like 50,000 to 100,000. But once you start making six figures, you either stay happy and content making the money that you make, or if you want to make more money, you have to figure out how you're gonna do that. And usually it doesn't come from getting another job. And the reason why I've been working so hard to make this kind of money is because I thought that it would help me with retiring early. But the truth is that I would still be working till retirement age. I just might be able to save a little bit more money. Once you factor in a mortgage, a car note, lifestyle creep, and all the other things that come with a six-figure salary, I was just going to stay stuck on the same hamster wheel that I've already been on. When I sat down with my wife and we started to talk about this stuff and we talked about what it was that we wanted out of life, we realized that we don't want to get into another mortgage. We don't want to start paying for another house. We don't want to go down that road again because we've already done it before. And it honestly, it doesn't offer the freedom that I was hoping to have by making more money to hopefully retire early. So instead of working for the next 20 years just to achieve freedom, why not try to make that freedom happen earlier. It would be very hard for me to make enough money to not have to worry about making money anymore. But I wanted to get to a point where I made enough money passively where I didn't have to worry too much about making money anymore. And I wanted to just shortcut that freedom part. Really, that's when things started to click. Like, why don't I just skip that part? Why don't I just go and enjoy my life now, spend time with my family and try to make money along the way and get to the freedom part first and figure out the money stuff later. Since I know that I can always fall back to a software developer job, I have that as a security blanket now. And since I'm making money passively through YouTube and my blogs and a few other things that I have, like my investments and whatnot, I'm not as worried as someone who just quit their job and is living off of savings because I do have some money coming in. And luckily I took the time to build this thing that's making me this money to afford me this flexibility and this little taste of freedom because I don't really feel that I'm completely free, right? Because I don't have $20 million in the bank and I'm not just going to live off of my interests. I'm going to still have to work and I'm going to have to figure out how to make money, but I want to do it outside of a job. I want to do it outside of a nine to five. I don't enjoy working for someone. I don't enjoy working for a company. I don't enjoy the office life or the work from home life. I just don't like having to be on my computer at a certain time and I don't like having to deal with meetings and I don't like having to build the same thing over and over and over and work on the same exact project all the time. And I don't wanna go work for an agency that's gonna you know, give me a bunch of different projects to work on and just overwork me to death. I don't wanna do that unless it benefits me financially in a way that I don't have to exchange my time for money. And that's what I hear all of these different rich people talk about. They all talk about not trading your time for money. And really that's what this freedom is for me. That's what this whole leaving my job and trying to pursue this, this YouTube thing and whatever other passive income ideas I can come up with or whatever freelancing ideas I can come up with that can generate me money with very little work. And it may sound lazy, but it's not that I'm not going to work hard. I just don't want to have to work all the time. I'm tired of working all the time. I'm tired of waking up every day, clocking in and clocking out. Even though I had the dream work from home developer job, I would wake up in the morning, roll out of bed and sit on this chair for eight hours a day. And I was miserable and I didn't want that. I was just sick of doing the same thing every day. I already know that I can do this stuff. So why not challenge myself with some new things and see the world? So. Those are some of the reasons why I decided to leave my job. I know a lot of people have been asking on the other channel. I know I'm not gonna quit writing code. I'm just gonna quit writing code for other people. I'm gonna build stuff for myself. I'd rather use my time to think of creative ways to make more money or just have fun and spend my time how I wanna spend it. I'm really hoping that this week goes smoothly. I hope everything gets done on time and I hope that I'm gonna have more time to make better videos and talk about other stuff rather than just what I'm going through right now, which is quitting my job and moving. All right, with all that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Man, it's hot as hell up here. Whew, dying right now. Too old for this shit.